a chapter a day to brighten your way. I think God must act this way. Hello, friends. Let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Job chapter eight. In the last two chapters, we read Job's response to Eliphaz. He firmly believed his own innocence and was convinced that his sins were not the reason for his severe punishment. Now, his second friend Bildad couldn't listen any longer and decided to admonish Job. Bildad thought that Job's words were a sign of self-righteousness and an unwillingness to repent. Even though this was also an advice, Bildad was not as tactful or polite as Eliphaz. Let's read chapter eight together. Job, chapter eight. Then Bildad the Shuhite answered and said, "How long will you say these things, and the words of your mouth be a great wind? Does God pervert justice, or does the Almighty pervert the right? If your children have sinned against Him, He has delivered them into the hand of their transgression. If you will seek God and plead with the Almighty for mercy, if you are pure and upright." Surely then he will rouse himself for you and restore your rightful habitation, and though your beginning was small, your latter days will be very great. For inquire, please, of bygone ages, and consider what the fathers have searched out. For we are but of yesterday and know nothing. For our days on earth are a shadow. Will they not teach you and tell you and utter words out of their understanding? Can papyrus grow where there is no marsh? Can reeds flourish where there is no water? While yet in flower and not cut down, they wither before any other plant. Such are the paths of all who forget God. The hope of the godless shall perish. His confidence is severed, and his trust is a spider's web. He leans against his house, but it does not stand. He lays hold of it, but it does not endure. He is a lush plant before the sun, and his shoots spread over his garden. His roots entwine the stone heap. He looks upon a house of stones. If he is destroyed from his place, then it will deny him, saying, "I have never seen you." Behold, this is the joy of his way, and out of the soil others will spring. Behold, God will not reject a blameless man, nor take the hand of evil doers. He will yet fill your mouth with laughter and your lips with shouting. Those who hate you will be clothed with shame, and the tent of the wicked will be no more. In contrast to Eliphaz's role as a the theologist, Bildad was more cold and direct in his rebuke of Job. Bildad thought that what happened to Job was due to his own mistakes, and even believed that Job's children died because of their own sins, which was undoubtedly like salt on Job's wounds. Among these three friends, Bildad represented the role of the judge. He had a set of formula for God's justice, believing that suffering was always punishment and good people would not suffer. However, this was not the truth of the situation, dear friends. Let's think for a moment. Does God also have a set of formula in your mind? If so, in what aspect? You can write it down in detail. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, please help me not to limit your will according to my own will. I want to trust in you with all my heart and learn more about your authority through the Bible. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you, and I love you too.